Hello guys, welcome back to Weekly Reviews Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, this is episode 3, and today we're going to be going through to find Leon. As I said on the last episode, we went ahead and took out the dark side in the second meeting, and we arrived in Traverse Town. So let's go ahead and head and try to find Leon, and also get ready to encounter some Heartless. Now actually... One of the cool things you're going to learn about is our Keyblade that we have right now, it actually can open doors. Now, of course, I don't think we can open that one yet. No, we can't yet. But you'll actually be able to open doors like that one and a couple other things, and you'll find a lot of useful items in this area. But we're going to trigger a cutscene real quick. It didn't even look like he got attacked. Now we have the Armored Heartless, which we're going to be dealing with, and as well as the regular Heartless. It's those creatures from the island. As you guys can see, you have other... Uh, balls laying around now instead of the HP balls. Those are money. Uh, you'll want to pick up as much of that as you possibly can because you'll need that for wanting to purchase items. And so there we go. So now, we're going to be having a little uh, search scene coming around where it's going to be Donald and Goofy are going to be trying to look for me and Leon while we're fighting Heartless. So each and every single door we're going through, they are following in right after me. So they are just barely missing me. And we're about to also take out another thing of Heartless. Ah, dang that. Dang that stair right there. The staircase. Is there another thing down there? Yeah, there's another thing of money. We'll get it. And we're going to go into the gizmo shop. Leon! So, I know a lot of y'all in the first episode were really laughing at my failing for uh, first time going against these guys. Now, I mean, I have played this game literally ten times, but it's also been a very long time since I last touched the game. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've actually touched my PlayStation 2 in a way, actually, though, because, I mean, I've been busy with a lot of other games, I've been busy with my Xenoblade Chronicles, and I've been busy with Tales of Graces F, and lots of other games, so, I've just been really swamped with other games, so I haven't, it's been so long since I last played the game, so, you gotta, y'all, y'all, I'm pretty sure can cut me a little slack on it. Anyway, this just basically goes on and on and on, so we're actually going to head out into the next portion, where we'll be heading to the second district, and you're going to see this ladder, which is uh, too wobbly for us to actually go on to right now, so we're going to go right straight down here, and I believe, nope, it's the other way. We're going to be going through the Dalmatian's house. And then, of course, they're looking for a still. This could take a while. <laughs> yeah, it probably will. Basically, though, in this entire episode, we're going to be trying to search around a little bit for the 99 puppies that were lost in the 101 Dalmatians. And basically, all the world destruction has caused all 99 puppies to uh, go missing. So we have to go through each and every world to find all the puppies. Now, I'm not going to try to make this a perfect game, because, I mean, that's, that's like almost impossible for me now, especially for how long it's been since I've played the game, but anyway, again, I really hate that camera. I really hate that camera. <laughs> I hate that camera so much. So anyway, let's go ahead and take out some more Heartless. And I think we should be gaining a... Uh, a level pretty soon. Oh, nice. Potion. Those are actually pretty rare to get when you're going against just regular Heartless. So, 
That was pretty cool. And we should almost be getting ready to head back to the first district, which I believe is through that door right ahead. Well, they're just ganging up on me. Got a loose shard from that one. So, alright. And we're not going to use that potion yet, but actually, just in case, because we are going to take a couple of our items from our stock, and we are going to, wait, actually we're going to exchange that and have it just in case we need it, and we're going to use another one just in case when we are fighting against Leon, because... His fight is not easy, but if you do beat him, you do gain some experience and you also gain a extra item. I'm not going to say what item though, uh, for people who have never actually beaten Leon on the first time. Because I will admit it, the first time I played the game, I didn't beat him. I, I messed up and I couldn't beat him. I had to repeat it over. So, we're getting a lot of money now actually. We already have, I don't know, about 100. No, we have about 68. We're way far away from 100 still. So, let's keep continuing. And... I don't really know what else to talk about, honestly. I feel like I'm just like, uh, today. Um, I don't know. I got up a little bit earlier than I should have today and had me some good breakfast. I had me some... Uh, scrambled eggs and some stuff around the time when I'm recording this, of course. Uh, around the time when I had that, that was like around, I don't know, like 9, 10 o'clock or so. That's usually the time I try to get up on. Sometimes, though, I'm a little lazy. I mean, I'll admit it. Sometimes I'll get up way later than I should. But then again, I guess we're all, we're all different, so everyone is different for different, different strokes, different folks, right? But, anyway, let's go ahead and take out that or the Heartless without getting hit by that one. Awesome. Okay, so we've searched the entire district, and we cannot find Leon yet, so we're going to actually head back to the item shop. And we're also going to see... I don't think I can buy anything yet with only the amount of money I have. Okay, so let's see if we can buy anything from Sid real quick. Let's see. Actually, no, we cannot. Uh, let me see if I can trade in something. Maybe I have something in my stock. I have the pretty stone, which I don't really need, so yeah, I'll trade. I'll sell that. And let's go ahead and save our progress real quick. Uh, again, without hitting the air. I'm hurting the air. I'm literally just hurting the air. There we go. Now let's go ahead and head on to the fight with Leon. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? That's not hey, cool. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly. Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. <sighs> All right. Then have it your way. Oh, we will have it our way, Leon. And we're going to try really good this time to uh, try to take you out. Ah. We're getting so close. So there we go. Now, Leon, get back here. Quit running away. Ah! Use a high potion. Oh, we just need one more hit, I think, on him. there. Oh, we 
took him out. Nice. Very nice. That's got to be humiliating, actually. <laughs> oh, you're slipping, Leon. Hey, what's up, Yuffie? What's up, Yuffie? I went easy on him. Oh, whatever. Looks I like torched your worse butt. Than we thought. A lot worse. Well, actually, you torched me because you had the fire, so. Technically, you torched me, but I still beat you. And I beat you. Well, still having to use potions, but that's okay. Excuse me. Did the king send you? Uh, here is one of my favorite characters from Final Fantasy VII. I'm pretty sure everyone else's favorite, too. Aerith. Okay, so now that we've had our little discussion, basically we heard now that Sora is the supposed master for the Keyblade, and the Keyblade, of course, has chosen him to take out the Heartless, and of course we we know the whole story. So, anyway, I'm going to show you all a really cool thing, actually. We're going to bang on this clock, and this is actually in a little a, uh, achievement thing to get. A chest. So as you see, a chest just popped up right over there. So this will be for a new item, which is a mithril, which we can also use in the synthesizing shop. And it looks like we can't open that one yet, but that's okay. So we're going to save again our progress real quick. And no leveling up just yet, but we're also going to try to see if we can take on our boss and meet up with Mickey and, I mean, uh, not Mickey. We're going to try to meet up with uh, Donald, and, Donald and Goofy. And we're going to actually head out. Whoa! Goofy, go. Oh! Let's, Let's go. go! I could just imagine the manager saying, Oh, you're going to pay for that. Oh, poor Donald. He got flattened right into the ceiling. And so now we have to go find the leader. But also we're going to be able to take out these guys, which do have two different types of attacks. One of them right there, which is like a spinning attack with their legs. And then they have another one where if you try to hit them, they will, like... I don't know, I don't even know what kind of attack that is. I guess it's like a sliding uh, kick or something. But that's another one of the attacks that they can use. So, we're going to try to take out a couple more of them. And we're getting three experience from each one of these guys. So, that's actually, uh, that's actually going to help us when we're going ahead and taking out our boss. Which, like I said, I'm going to try to go ahead and show off the boss in this Let's Play. If I can't, though, it'll be moved over to Episode 4. But we're actually making okay time so far on this. And I'm actually not feeling as bad as I thought I would against these guys. I guess I'm getting back my uh, so-called experience on the game again. Which, that's good. That's good. I need, I need all the help and <laughs> all the experience I can get. It's just I'm, ha I'm having a problem, seriously, with the little Heartless. That's the minion Heartless. That's... That makes me kind of feel really bad now. Ah! Get back here. Alright, we got a spirit shard. Which is another item that will be used for synthesizing. So, let's go ahead and head now. And try to find our leader. Which I believe he's in the third district. So we need to go ahead and first head into the second district. And then we are going to head to the third district. Actually, we're going to take out a couple more of these guys, just real quick. And gain a lot of money on the way. So, very nice. Very nice so far. And I would love to get a gain of my uh, 
strength or something up. Nope, nothing yet. I still... I guess I have a little bit longer to go before I can get that. Actually, let me check. Nope, 34. Still have a little while to go before I can get to it, but that's okay. Alright, so here's the spot we're going to need to go to take on our first boss. So let's go take him out. And we're also going to have a cutscene real quick where we get to meet up with Donald and Goofy. <laughs> Pure fail. Then land right on top of Sora. God, man, that that's gotta hurt. All right. So it's time for Donald and Goofy to help us out. Because we're going to be fighting a lot of Heartless now. But it's okay because we're kind of going to have a little bit of help from Donald since he has magic. And Goofy just learned Rocket. Nice. That'll be a helpful... That'll be a really helpful ability. Wow, that was quick. Usually it takes a couple more seconds. So now we will be taking on our boss. Which this boss is really not that hard. Uh, you just got to make sure you watch out when it's getting ready to do... It's a few different types of attacks. Uh, it has three different attacks. One of them spinning its arms, and then another one where it will smash on the ground with its legs. So make sure, if anything, uh, attack more than anything the legs once he detaches himself from his body. Because it'll make it so you don't have to deal with him stomping around and everything. And doing that right there. And I could actually use uh, a little bit of health, or am I going to seriously die on this? Nope, I'm not. Wow. Well, we took out one of his arms. I could take out another arm, or I would like to. Or actually, let's take out those legs. There we go. We got rid of his arms. So now let's get rid of those legs. There's one leg. And that was amazing. I didn't think I was going to get past that one. There we go. Now all that's left is the body, which is the easy part. We just got to time it right. There we go. And he's almost done because he's spinning around. There we go. Which our HP has been maxed up. And very nice. So we took out the first boss. And we released the heart. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we also obtained Brave Warrior, which is going to be an item to increase. I believe that increases our HP, I think, and our strength and defense. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. But anyway, guys. Um... You were looking for me? <laughs> they, too, have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? We on the gummy ship? The worlds on our vessel. Cool. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Aw, Sora, don't get upset. Are you sure? Who knows? <laughs> but when we the top weapons, can help us find the king. <laughs> Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go on a ship that's called the Gummy Ship. Is it an edible ship or something? Okay, that was corny. <laughs> I swear, I love his voice. I've always loved Donald's voice. I actually have a cousin that actually can still do a Donald duck voice impression and he does really good like really really good okay Sora that's a little scary for a happy face or a funny face I mean that's I mean that's not really that funny to me to me that's not that funny but alright so guys we have now Goofy and Donald 
on our team. So now we'll be having a couple extra party members to help us out on our quest for destroying the Heartless. Okay, so guys, we have taken out the first boss in Traverse Town, and we are getting ready to head into the Gummy Ship. But we're going to be saving that for the next episode. But before we do that, we're going to finish off just this little bit. And, alright, so we got 100 money from everyone, and also a gift from Leon. Now, that was the item I was talking about. You get an elixir from him if you do defeat him. So, that always will come in handy. Especially if we're in a really big jam, so we'll probably save that for when we get to the next world. So, of course, also it tells us that you can go to the save menu and select the gummy ship from the save menu. And not all the save points, though, will let you board the gummy ship, though. And I'll basically explain to y'all each one of them that you can use to be able to get there and whatever. So, anyway, we just learned the magic of fire, so that's going to be a nice thing to have. And then we also now are going to learn a new ability, which is the dodge roll. Now, this will be a very nice ability to have when we're starting off with, because if we're having to run into enemies like the Heartless, like we were, we could be able to easily roll away from them. And basically the way to do that is by going to abilities from the menu, go to the character you want to equip it to, and then you'll have a AP meter right here. So like we have three of it right there, so we are able to equip that. So we can equip that to us, and then we'll also equip uh, Rocket to Goofy real quick too. So otherwise guys, I mean that's that's really it for this episode, but real quick before I do end it, I'm going to basically tell you all the difference in between which save points will go to the gummy ship and which ones will not. But also we're going to take a look at this mark real quick, which is for the Trinity marks. Look around for each one of them. Now for the time being, we can only use the blue ones, but we'll start learning more trinities as we go through different areas. Now, the save point that I'm on right now, the one where it's glowing all from the sides and everything, not just having like a big swirl, uh, those right there are the ones that you can go to for access for the gummy ship, and then the other ones you cannot access the gummy ship, you can only just save. But it's still it's still pretty pretty okay. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and save, and guys, we are gonna be ending the episode at level 8, so not bad, not really bad. So guys, until the next episode, stay tuned.